Please bear with me here, here and the camera's up here. So is down here and I'll be looking at you. Here, so I'll be looking at you, but I'm not looking at you per se. All right, we'll start with Brooke Pryor, ESPN. Uh, nice to virtually meet you. Um, I was reading that during the UDFA process, you were considering signing with Pittsburgh before you ended up in Buffalo. Was that familiarity part of why you opted now to come to Pittsburgh and kind of what was their pitch to bringing you here? Yeah, I, um, I've always been a fan of Pittsburgh um, and how they play defense here. And uh, I think Buffalo at the time was just better for me to go um, in order to, you know, try to make a team um, and secure the starting spot. And so, I, uh, sorry, I'm looking down, but <laughs> my fault. Um, but, uh, yeah, and so when, when Pittsburgh called, I was more than excited to come, have the opportunity to play here um, on another great defense as well. So uh, I'm excited to be here. BD, NFL Network. Aditi. All right, we're going to come back to Aditi. Noah, Sports Illustrated. What's up, Levi? Or Levi, nice to meet you. Um, have you talked to Cam Sutton, Minka Fitzpatrick, any of those guys? Did, did you have any introductions with them yet? Uh, talk to Mika, you know, that's my guy from, from back in college and, uh, we were at from time to time. And so I talked to him, I haven't talked to Cam Sutton yet. Um, but I've talked to him, you know, within meeting, within playing each other. Um, seemed like a really great dude. Um, definitely a baller. So look forward to spending some more time with those guys for sure. Dale Lawley, DK. Levi, uh, you've had a couple of picks against the Steelers the last uh, couple of seasons. Do you feel like that it had any uh, influence on the, their decision to uh, bring you in? Uh, honestly, I think that's a question for them. Uh, you know, I, the goal is to get picks on everybody, honestly, you know, as, as a cornerback. So I don't discriminate when it comes to the Steelers. But at one point in time, they were my favorite team to play against. So, uh, but I, like I said, I'm, I'm glad to be here. Um, and, you know, hopefully I can do the same for, for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Tribune Review. Yeah, hi. Uh, you, you know, last year you had uh, Mitch Trubisky there with you in Buffalo, and I'm sure you went up against him maybe in practice. What what kind of quarterback are the Steelers getting, and what did he do well there during his time in Buffalo? Uh, Mitch is a, a great guy on and off the field. Um, definitely a, a leader um, and a team player. And just the way he cares, carries himself each and every day, true professional. Um, and I love being on his team, um, even when he wasn't playing with Josh starting last year. Uh, he just did so much for the team and the organization uh, on and off the field. So I'm glad to see a familiar face here. Um, I'm glad to have him on my team. You know, I, and we're ready to get to work. Pittsburgh Post-Gazette. During the recruiting process, how did the coaches um, envision you fitting into this defense? And can you give me a little history about uh, college and with the Bills? Did you always play outside? Did you ever play inside? What's your versatility like? Uh, no, I didn't play too much inside, uh, more outside corner. Uh, it's been a while since I played inside. It's, it's a whole different ball game. But um, uh, the coaches here, like I said, we've, we've talked before, and um, they said they liked me, and they, they tried to get me when I first was coming out. So it just seemed like a good fit at the time. And just being able to show what I can do on the field, um, I think I impressed them a little bit. And so, like I said, I'm, I'm ready to learn under them um, and fit into this defense. And wherever I can fit in, wherever they need me, uh, I'm here to compete and I'm here to, to try to make plays for the Steelers. So I think that's why I'm here, because my uh, competitive spirit. All right, Liam, my, my bad on the last one. I had a million things on the screen here. Um, 52 starts as an undrafted uh, free agent coming into the NFL. What's made you so consistent and, and able to kind of build a lasting career here? Uh, I think just the hard work that I put in, honestly. Um, I kind of just don't take no for an answer. I don't let people's limitations get put on me. Um, undrafted or people say undrafted, I say eighth round. So I did get drafted. But, uh, you know, I, I kind of just, it, that's just been my story, you know, with walking on to Alabama um, and nobody expecting me to start there and win championship, let alone get a scholarship. And 
it's just the same here. I just have that fighter's mentality, that fighting spirit, and um, I look I look forward to challenges, honestly. And you know, this is another chapter, another challenge, and I'm excited to to take it on full steam ahead. you learn about the Steelers defense just playing against them the last couple of years? Did you get a chance to watch from the sidelines at all? I know you guys have played you know, a couple of times in the last few years. Yeah, uh, the Steelers, I thought, especially last year, I was like, dang, they, they got a tough defense. You know, back in, in Buffalo, we had, we finished the season with number one defense. We had a good defense, but I was always thinking like, hey, Dillard, the, the Steelers defense, especially the D-line, how they just get after the ball and the, the DBs are just flying around, linebackers just sideline to sideline. I was really impressed, especially last year's game, how they were just affecting us last year. So, like I said, when, when they called, I was like, man, that's that's another great defense to be a part of. And I look forward to, to being here. And here I am, man. I'm, I'm excited to be a part of this special place um, and be a part of the special defense. I don't see any hands raised. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Levi. Thank you, guys. I look forward to talking to you for the rest of the year. Look forward to talking to you for the rest of the year. Uh, show you guys respect. I hope you guys do the same for me. Appreciate you guys.